Queen Camilla's grandson is due to soldier on with his role at King Charles's coronation on Saturday despite suffering with a broken arm. Gus Lopes, 13, has been pictured with his arm in a sling, meaning he will have to carry out his important coronation duties with just one hand. With just three days to go until Charles and Camilla are anointed and crowned, preparations for the big day are in full swing with members of the royal family taking part in last-minute rehearsals of the proceedings to ensure everything goes smoothly. The ceremony itself will carry on some centuries-old traditions and embrace some more modern aspects of King Charles's monarchy, while costing the public £250 million in total for the three-day celebration. One of the key roles in the ceremony, the Pages of Honour, is being carried out by younger royals or members of Camilla's family, but it has now been revealed that Gus, one of Camilla's pages, has recently broken his arm, the Mirror reports. Gus, the son of Camilla's daughter Laura and her husband Harry Lopes, will be carrying out his important coronation duty of carrying Camilla's coronation robes with just his right arm for his left has been photographed in a sling. Earlier this week the youngster's arm was spotted when he and Prince Louis, 5, were at Buckingham Palace for rehearsals. Richard Eden revealed for the mail that Gus would have to complete his tasks one-handed, with a family friend telling him, Gus broke his arm in a bike accident while on holiday. The cast has been removed but he must have it in a sling on the big day. King Charles and Queen Camilla will each have four pages of honour supporting them on the day of the coronation, including the king's eldest grandson Prince George, the nine-year-old future monarch, as well as Camilla's three grandsons, twins Gus and Louis Lopes, 13, and Freddie Parker Bowles, also 13. It comes as the royal family are in full swing in preparing for the upcoming coronation with last-minute rehearsals taking place this week. King Charles also hosted the first of his three garden parties at Buckingham Palace on Wednesday, welcoming 8,000 guests to the celebrations, including pop star Lionel Richie. Other guests included coronation champions, exceptional volunteers recognized for their work by the Royal Voluntary Service, of which Camilla is the president. Richie, 73 who is performing at the coronation concert at Windsor Castle on Sunday, met Charles and Camilla who laughed and smiled in separate meetings with the singer. He told reporters, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. To be a part of it is everything. I've known His Majesty for a couple of years, so it's fun to be here. Richie, who has been involved with the Prince's Trust as an ambassador since the 1980s, praised the king's work. He said, believe it or not, he cares. He's hands-on. Although Richie did not give anything away about his upcoming performance, he said he was excited about the event. He said, are you kidding me? This doesn't happen every day. So, am I excited about this? Absolutely. This is not like any other time in life or any occasion. Once the lights hit and the music starts it's just going to be magical. I have to pinch myself. We're walking in history. The king and queen were in good spirits as they shook hands and chatted with their invited guests and charity representatives at the garden party on Wednesday, May 3. Camilla wore a navy and white Bruce Oldfield dress and Philip Treacy hat, while Charles wore a morning suit with a top hat.